we're going to uh, put some gel coat on this. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to I'm going to fill these outside cavities with uh, buoyancy foam, which basically I'm going to use it. This is the two-pound foam right here, and basically it, uh, from my way I understand it, is one cubic foot of it weighs two pounds. So if you get uh, you know 65 pounds of buoyancy from the foot, and I'm just speculating here. You would have to subtract the two pounds for the uh, for uh, the weight of the foam, and then the foam comes in different weights. And the heavier the foam, the the more strength and stuff it has. So we're gonna do some two pound foam right here in this cavity and see how it does. Lord A, we're going to go 8 ounces. And they say that uh, from the directions you got 45 seconds work time of mixing. So, and then we're going to go 8 ounces of part B. Okay, start mixing.
mix up some more. Do another eight and eight. I can see the boat's not set in level, so that would be something you'd want to do. No, no, I'd like to put enough foam in that it wouldn't sink. It might squat way down in the water, but... So two cubic feet in there, it could probably use another cubic foot anyhow to bring it up, but that gives me some idea how much I need to order. I had no idea um, that two cubic feet was equivalent to uh, part A and part B was like in a quart can. So a little bit of foam in now that um, I'm getting ready to place my, uh, another order for more uh, gel coat so and I wanted to put that foam in and just kind of get a real feel of what it was going to look like and how it was going to how it was going to go in there so so now we know that uh, you know we need a lot of foam I mean it'd be nice to say you know you can't see it anyhow and but if you ever need it, it would sure be nice to know that it's going to hold you up out of the water, too. Keep watching. 